Hi everyone, in today's video, we will set up a small NAS server for home with a 500 GB hard disk in an Optiplex 3020 mini PC acting as a shared file storage disk. In addition to the mini PC, we will also need two pen drives. Each can be of 32 GB. We will flash the first pen drive with the NAS installer. The second pen drive will always be plugged to the PC to run as a NAS server program. Instead of second pen drive, the NAS program can also run on a M.2 drive if added to the mini PC. We will power the PC, connect to monitor and connect the Ethernet port to LAN port in the router. In our method, Wi-Fi will be of no use. We will need a Windows PC to flash the first pen drive with NAS installer program. Insert this pen drive and format it first. Once the formatting is over, search for a program called Berlina Hitcher. Download the portable version. We also need to search for TrueNAS Core Program's latest version and download it to the Windows PC. Now fire up the Balina HR program. Select the TrueNAS image for the first button. Select the pen drive letter for the second button and click flash. It will start burning the installer program to the first orange pen drive. Once flashing is complete, insert the first pen drive and the second pen drive to the mini PC. Make all the connections to the PC. I repeat, connecting through LAN interface is a must here. Power up the mini PC. The install program boots up and shows the option to install. Choose the first option and in the next screen, Select the pen drive and not the hard disk. That's very important. This is the red pen drive we inserted after the first one. Confirm that you want to overwrite any data. Provide root password and remember it. We will need to log in to TrueNAS interface later. Select the UEFI mode. If your PC BIOS does not support UEFI mode, you can select the legacy BIOS mode. Now, the installer is installing the NAS software in the second pen drive. Once installation is complete, remove the first pen drive that is the orange one and reboot. Operating system running through NAS server is booting up. Once the bootup is completed, you will get an URL. Note this URL. We need it to connect to the URL for TrueNAS administration. Connect to this URL and provide the root as the username. Type the password you provided during the NAS installation process. After successful login of admin interface, the dashboard gets displayed. The dashboard provides details regarding CPU usage, 
network interface status, memory usage, and the like. To make this usable as a NAS storage, we need to create a user account and a data pool. Let's go to Accounts, select Users, and add a new user. Provide a username such as Guest and add a password. Confirm the password again. Leave the remaining option as is and hit Submit. Now select the storage menu and choose pools. Click add and choose create a new pool. Provide a pool name. As you can see, the hard disk in mini PC gets listed here. You can use the hard disk as NAS storage. Select the hard disk and click on the right arrow button to make it available for data pool. This is not a RAID storage. So the only option we have is Stripe. So leave the defaults. Select Force, Confirm and Create. Once the pool is created, you must create a dataset. Choose Add Dataset. Provide a dataset name. Leave the defaults. and click Submit. Now go to the Accounts User section again and edit the guest user we created some time back. Now the guest user has access to the data set we created. Select the Microsoft account here since we will be creating an SMB share used by Microsoft Windows PCs. Click Save. Now head back to the pool section and choose the data set we created. In the data set, choose edit permissions and check whether guest user is the owner for it and click save. Now we are ready to create an SMB share to be used in Windows hosts. Navigate to sharing and choose Windows shares SMB. Click add and choose the data set path. When you press the submit button, a message pops up with a button to enable the service. Hit that button. You will be notified that the SMB service is enabled in the NAS services. In the next pop-up, choose configure now for ACL, also known as access control list. Among the options, choose restricted for better security and continue. Select apply user and apply group checkboxes and hit the save button. In a Windows PC connected to same network as the NAS server, type in backslash backslash and the NAS server address in a Windows Explorer search box. Type in the username and password, which is the guest. We could see that the dataset is visible. This confirms that the NAS storage setup and sharing works flawlessly. Play around by creating files, folders, and by deleting them. To upload files from your mobile, install an app called ANDSMB from Google Play. Once you open the interface, you can create a profile for your NAS server by clicking the plus button and typing the host details, username and password, which is the guest. Provide the dataset name exactly as in the Windows share. Click the phone icon at the top to list all local files in mobile. Select those files by pressing and holding for some time and hit the upload button. Your files will start getting uploaded to the NAS server. Let's explore a few more things in the NAS server admin interface. Services menu shows various services running in the NAS server. Smart service and the SMB service that we just enabled are running. We can also enable the dynamic DNS service if you want your NAS to be exposed to the internet without a static IP. We can create virtual machines based on Windows or Unix that can be run on the NAS server. We also get access to operating system shell. We can locate the mount point and access the files in NAS dataset. We can also look at the top system processes running in a NAS server.
We could use the settings icon at the top to change preferences, password, etc. We can check the status of plugins too. And most importantly, with the power icon, we can remotely restart a shutdown NAS server without the need for an attached monitor or keyboard. This is a pretty cool feature. With this, we will conclude this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.